Hey, what's good, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. This is Eko Simpson. I know it's been a while. This month, I've posted. I think this is my second post because I've been running around a lot. School has resumed, and I'm still running, you know, errands for you and for others who would want to move to the motherland. I always preach about patience. Yes, when you want to move to the motherland, sometimes I'm asked this question, Eko. What can you tell me about me moving to the motherland, my journey to the motherland? I'm like, have a mentality that is going to be so patient, so accommodating and open-mindedness when you're coming to Africa. I'm telling you the truth. Because even we here, sometimes we find it difficult to move with, you know, the system. But I mean, we've been going through the system for a while now. So when you come, please have patience. You know, things move a little bit slow here. I'm here today because I want to you know, have a, a general discussion with you about the Yasebu Pan-African Village. So last two days I was there, Mr. Len called me and said, Hey, Echo, I want to see you. So I had to drive about 40 minutes from where I live. I went to see Mr. Len. And while I was there, I met this awesome family, uh, Mr. T, uh, Cindy, and your daughter, they are staying in uh, Moy's apartment. So I want to say shout outs to you. We shared a drink together. So Mr. T was like, Eko, when I got in Ghana, the first time we went to look for my land, I asked them, where can I get this wine, this palm wine? Eko has been talking about and drinking it on his video. And so they took him there and then he bought some. So yesterday when I went there, last week when I went there, he brought it out and then we shared a drink together. The whole family, it was, it was pretty nice. So this is what I love in of seeing and, and, and engaging in. And then the wife also came down and said, Echo, she gave me a big hug. And then she said, Echo, you are the reason why I am on the motherland. I feel like uh, this is my calling, the calling that I've been called to, you know, help assist facilitate your coming to the motherland it's been brought to pass if i should say that anyway so i have here in front of me a bunch of land in dentures yes a bunch of land in dentures and we are in april right i applied for these people uh in in january first year first week in january i think so or within january 2023 and I told them it would take about three months. So from January, we don't even count January. So January, uh, February, March, April. And I already have the indentures. Three months. Exactly. So when you apply for a land here, or when I assist you apply for a land in Asebu, please be patient, all right? This is the first thing that you're going to have. So now let me explain a little bit what I do to help people. Yes. Um, first of all, I get contact. Hey, Echo, I'm trying to make payment through the bank. It's not going through. Can you help me? I'm like, yeah. So they send me their money. I go to the local bank, make payment, and send the receipt to the Asebo Pan African Village office. That is the first thing. And then within a week, within a week, not that day or the next day, depending on the work that is on their desk, within a week, I'm supposed to get this allocation paper. Okay, so this one is from Clark. So Within a week, I'll be called to get this allocation paper. That is being signed by the chief of Asebu. And then within three months, I'll be called back to go and get um, this one. So this includes, I mean, spells out everything that, and then there's, the, 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 the forms is taken to, uh, to the court to be signed. So the receipt is attached to it and your um what do you call it the side plan showing you your your plot and then the chief signing here and then a witness signing here and you gotta sign here and have a witness and then you know it spells out some few things from the court and um yeah so i can see here um the land is being given for a period of 55 years so everybody gets 55 years and yes everybody gets 55 years so after 55 years you go back to you know renew it and the renewal i know doesn't cost as much as you bought or you purchased if i say bought or paid i'm talking about other land but with this one it will not cost as much as you got this for free all right so basically that is what i do and in between the three months someone will say oh okay you've got my allocation paper here 
but I don't know how my land looks like. Can you help me just see it? And then I'll call the land surveyor, call the builder. Because when we are going, we have to go with pillars. So, because the land is pretty big. And so when I go and look at it, and then you, you don't put the pillars on it with your name on it. And he asks me later on when you get to Ghana, he asks me to go and show you the land. I will not be able to. That is why we go with the uh, land surveyor. We go with um, um, cement bag. We go with sand and water. We mix, get a mortar, dig the hole, and put the pillars in it, directing to you know the four corners of your land so basically this is what i do for the diaspora and then i get paid for doing that yes for my time compensation fee i'll charge you for that because we are all helping each other okay if you help me i can help you because i drive around and i'm about 40 minutes for where i work is about 40 minutes to asebu but from where i stay where i come from cape coast about 18 to 20 minutes so if you have to go and come you need to pay me for that all right so there's a discussion that i want to have with you just a quick one um i had a conversation with someone through um consultation so i had a phone call it was a video call so depending on the deal we come with i will have time for you make a video call with you we talk and all that so we talked about she was asking about clinic i call how close is the hospital or a clinic in a sebu there's no hospital but i know there are clinics and there may be district hospitals. But if you're looking at a bigger hospital with everything, a teaching hospital, then you are about 20 minutes away from Asebu. Yes, we are talking about Cape Coast. So Cape Coast has a teaching hospital called Interbetan. So anytime you're sick, you want to really get a doctor, you know, in a, with all the equipment and everything, then you have to drive through to Cape Coast. You can either go with a trotro, a public van, or you can go with your private car or you can rent or hire a taxi so it depends so it's about 18 to 20 minutes from Asebu to Cape Coast teaching hospital somebody also talked about echo what what if I want to buy groceries I'm like in Ghana almost every house has a grocery store just a just a little way kiosk where they sell sugar they sell milo soap rice tomato onion they, i mean they sell a lot of things so instead of you driving all the way to cape coast to the uh, supermarket uh, to go and buy all these things you can just you know walk around the area and get it but those of you looking for the bigger one you have to go to cape coast so there's a bigger mall in cape coast so when you go to cape coast you have a bigger mall there you can do whatever and then a sebu is in between cape coast it's the busiest market with a mall and then Mankesim, okay, that also is the like, busiest market with a mall. So you can either go that way or this way. It depends on you. Now we're talking about police. I know our police station. I know that within the site plan, the whole Asebu Pan African really, I know there are plots that has been designated for a school, for a police station, maybe a pharmacy, maybe a clinic. I've seen it within it. Yes, so I am sure that as time goes on, these things will be materialized. But the question is, who is going to build it? Who is going to build the clinic or the school or the pharmacy uh, or the mall? So who is going to build it? Is it the African diasporas who are living there? They're going to come together and build? Or is it the Asebu chief or the community that is going to build it? Or it's going to be a collaborative effort. What do you think? Put it up as a comment. Let me know. What do you think is supposed to be done there? I mean, concerning the police station, the pharmacy, the clinic, the schools and everything. Uh, who do you think is supposed to build that? Okay. So let's draw, draw. That is, I, I, I've been hearing that word, draw, draw, you know, put ideas together and see who is supposed to do it. And if it is the collaborative thing I'm talking about, then maybe we need to start something right about now. And I know if that happens, whoever invests into it, I mean, reaps whatever is going to come out of it. But I don't know anything, anything can happen. So basically, I was, you know, bringing you some stuff about Asebu Pan-African Village. It is ongoing. People are building. If you're making up your mind to get a plot, go ahead and get it. But don't forget, there are other places around you could get land. You can focus on Asebu, do Asebu, no problem with that. 
there are other chances opportunities for you to own land elsewhere all within central region even around Asib, there are other areas that i've i've heard i've not really gone there yet other areas that i know other diasporas are purchasing land there okay and so don't only think of Asibu. ghana is big you need to expand you know what i'm saying like go this way go that way even where i live in salt pond so because of the school that i, I work i live in salt pond there's a land that is about 80 feet to 70 feet that's the only thing i think it's pretty small but it's cool it uh but i think it's cool because right now even when you go to accra prom prom land is like 80 by 80 or 70 by 80 or 70 by 70 for as much as 86,000 Ghana cities which is pretty cool because you know when that area a particular area begins to develop things materials begins to change so in salt Pond, where i'm making this video right now i'm about three minutes away from where the land is and where i'm making this video right now i'm about five minutes drive to the seaside so every day when i close from work i go and sit there relax chillax do what i have to do and all that but the measurement i said is 80 by 70 and uh, it's a package so i'm gonna make a new video about that whole thing but it's an idea that don't only think of a sable there are other places you can also think of you know don't lay your eggs at one place just be laying them around so it can hatch and you can get a lot of chicks around yes so hey i just came your way quickly just to say hello to you and sorry that i've not been uploading a lot because i've been moving around a lot and uh, i got injured in my eye because i was in a sable uh we were helping with some project and sun fell into my eye and this eye became so red i couldn't see it was blurred all the time but now I'm applying medicine on it every time. So that's why I have this thing on. You know, uh, mid-month. Yeah, we're in the middle of the month. I've had a cool month, you know. That I've been taking care of my eye and moving around and running errands for you. So shout out to everybody who is working with me. Uh, being patient with me. We are working so hard. Working so hard. I have a lot of um, documents with me that have not even been collected. Because the owners are still out there in the USA, UK, Canada, Germany. And I have Wulupa, Wulupa, I want to speak Patwa. I have Wulupa in dentures with me, Wulupa, uh, Wulipa, I don't know how to say it. But hey, thank you very much for checking me out. This is a video that I just wanted to do to say I miss you guys checking out my videos and everything. And with that, that's the first thing. I interviewed the local government but the diasporan community i didn't get a chance to but there was an audio made by the manager of the place who spelled out everything that happened but i'm not gonna get into it again because i think the issue is dying and everybody is getting to know what is going on and until the the committee that is why i've not come out yet onto the committee that was set to look into the issue comes out and says this is what we came out with then i will come in with my findings to you know either compare or share with you whatever is going to happen so big up yourself for watching this video um i appreciate you all thank you